What is up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon News Daily for February 7, 2019. I'm your host, Daddy Gamer Fred, bringing you a daily news show where I go over all the Pokemon news for the day, from official news to the leaks to the rumors, spamming across all medias of Pokemon, from the games to the movies to the anime. So if you want to keep up to date with the latest news, make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on. If you like today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, leave a comment as well as I do take time out of my day to reply to all comments left on all of my videos. So let me know your thoughts on today's topics, but without no further ado, let's jump right into the news. And first thing, pretty quickly, let's check out the official new Funko Pop vinyl figures that have been announced. And why not just start off with the very first Pokemon on the Pokedex, which is Bulbasaur. The Bulbasaur figure will be released on Pokemon Day, which is going to be on February 27th, 2019. And I think it's pretty cool. I missed out on the official Pikachu release. That was a Target exclusive Funko Pop release. And hopefully this one has a more general release. So maybe I could pick it up when I do see it in a while. Let me know your thoughts on this, guys, and are you going to be grabbing this brand new Bulbasaur Funko Pop figure? Let's keep on the topic of new figures that have been recently announced, and this is coming from the official Pokemon website. I'm going to have this linked in the description below just in case you guys want to check it out. It says, celebrate a year of Pikachu with Funko. Pokemon Center and Funko are teaming up to bring fans 12 figures in a Day with Pikachu collection. Pokemon fans have a lot to get excited about in the upcoming months thanks to a special collaboration between Pokemon Center and the collectible creative experts at Funko. February 13th, 2019 will bring a launch of A Day with Pikachu, a new line of figures that will be available at PokemonCenter.com. Then each month for an entire year, a new theme figure will debut on the site. Each of the 12 figures celebrates the change of the months and seasons with a unique scene featuring Pikachu. Look at the following figures throughout the year into 2020. The names of the figures are A Day with Pikachu, One Lucky Day for February, A Day with Pikachu, Rainy Day, Pokemon for March, A Day with Pikachu, Blooming Curiosity for April, A Day with Pikachu, Sweet Days Are Here for May, A Day with Pikachu, Sparking Up a Celebration for June, A Day with Pikachu, Splashing Away for Summer for July, A Day with Pikachu, Charge Up for Game Day for August, A Day with Pikachu, Surprise to Fall for September, A Day with Pikachu, Completely thankful for October, a day with Pikachu, a cool new friend for November, which has the most exciting name, and obviously I'm going to go over that in a second, a day with Pikachu ringing in the fun for December, a day with Pikachu surprising weather ahead for January. It says stay tuned for updates on future releases, and be sure to visit the PokemonCenter.com for more information on this exciting figure collection. Don't forget to sign up for email updates to get the latest scoop on the day with Pikachu line and other releases at the Pokemon PokemonCenter.com. Now, this is going to be a fun Funko Pikachu collection to collect. I think it's pretty cool. I'm not really digging the first design with Pikachu and that green hat holding the pot of gold, but I'm mostly in love with the rollout of this whole announcement and the silhouettes that they have released for the brand new figures in the upcoming months. Do note that they show all the silhouettes until the November, which is kind of obvious when you think about the title of the November figure, which is a cool cool new friend. With the 2019 Gen 8 Pokemon games due out this year is most likely coming out in November, they might be hinting of a brand new Pokemon from Gen 8 hanging out with Pikachu within this figure. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below. I'm going to have a full video on this coming up after this video, so be sure you hit that subscribe button, ring your notification bell to check it out. I'm going to be diving more on this theory. Now moving on to some quick anime news coming from Serebii.net, a Japanese magazine have revealed a title and info on an upcoming new episode of the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime. The episode is due out to air on March 3rd and will feature Ash and company preparing to return to Melimeli Island. But a mysterious Pokemon has boarded the ship and starts eating tools at the Pokemon School and James Collection. While causing mischief, the episode is numbered 1054. Arrival in Aloha Meli Metal Panic is the name 
game and it sounds pretty cool maybe Meltan probably has something to do with this because they're talking about tools being on a ship that's getting mysteriously missing and maybe he's eating it I don't know let me know your thoughts on what could be actually happening within this episode to be honest I haven't been keeping up with the anime I've been doing a lot of backlog catching up with the Pokemon TV app but they don't have all the episodes on there so so I do have a lot to catch up to be caught up on the anime but let me know your thoughts if you have been keeping up with the anime and what do you think this episode is going to be about also coming from Serebii.net we got some stream details that have been announced for the Pokemon Argentina International Championship in Australia next week from February 14th throughout February 17th the streams all run from both games with commentators across the weekend throughout February 17th now I'm not a huge fan with covering Pokemon VGC on this show due to the fact that there's a ton of cheating going on in community so I will leave the links in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself but I'm not too interested on covering Pokemon International Championship and Pokemon Championships in general now let's finish off the day's news by talking about some Pokemon Go news and we have a few topics to go over so coming from Pokemon Go Live the official Pokemon Go website they dropped a new video recapping the latest Pokemon Go Safari Zone event that happened in South America earlier this year the video is pretty cool small short and I'm going to link the full video in the comment section below just in case you guys want to check it out also while we're talking about Pokemon Go we got a few hints on the Valentine's Day event for 2019 coming from the Pokemon Go newsletter this Valentine's Day event will feature various pink Pokemon now no Pokemon was actually named but you could probably guess on what pink Pokemon will be included in this event with it being pink Pokemon let me know what Pokemon you think will be included in the comment section below and which one of that Pokemon would you want them to release as a shiny Pokemon for this event also in the same newsletter they announced that a special friendship weekend event is happening from February 8th to February 11th and there will be special bonuses that will increase friendship twice as fast in addition to that all trades will require half the amount of Stardust and give double amount of candy pretty cool if you ask me especially if you have friends who also play Pokemon Go with you you guys can trade Pokemon for cheaper stardust at the same time getting twice the candy so that's pretty cool if you want to add me as a friend feel free I'm have my Pokemon go friend code in the description below of this video so you guys can add me also leave your friend code in the comment section as well and I can add you myself in Pokemon go now that's gonna be it guys for today's news we did go over a lot so let me know your thoughts on everything we went over in the comment section below from this brand new friendship a day event inside of Pokemon go are you gonna be participating trading off some Pokemon for cheaper Stardust. Are you excited for this Valentine's Day event? I'm actually excited, especially if I could work my way up towards a Blitzy. Fingers crossed I could finally scratch that Pokemon off my list. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below. Either way, peace. I love you guys. I'm gonna see you guys on the next Pokemon News Daily. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy and my Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.